So many people have been constantly asking me, Shinra, how do I actually become a debater? Shinra, how do I actually get into the community? So step one, obviously, is just to join Skype here, join all of the big debating servers. And, you know, basically, the first thing you want to do is if you want to start off, I recommend starting off with Inverse and then moving to IRL or start off with Inverse and then move to Crossverse and then move to IRL. That's how I personally recommend it. Though my, me personally, I just skip the IRL section, but quite literally the first thing you need to do is read up on the topic of choice that you want to do for Inverse. So mainly what you want to go do is actually just read Naruto, read JJK, learn the arguments. And then there are a few entry level debaters that you can debate to actually test your skill. And I recommend just continually debating them until you're actually able to beat them. So first of them is going to be Obviously, we have D1. D1 is like obviously he's a very uh, easy person to debate. Not only because he not only does he introduce you to the style of loud micing or well, not really loud micing, he introduces you to this buggy style of debating, which kind of lacks some substance but also has it at the same time. So D1, because of his loud micing, he'll fool you into thinking that he or not loud micing over talking will just fool you into thinking that he has no substance whenever he's speaking. However, then you'll be tricked and not actually track the argument properly, and then you might lose. Right? However, that's like obviously a very clear roadblock. Then the second one is Jin. Now, Jin really he doesn't really excel in anything. Right? He's basically a new debater but if you continually debating him Jin what the way he does have is he actually has a lot of experience so if you continue to debate him you're obviously going to learn more and more about the series you're obviously going to learn more and more about the topic that you're talking about and the best thing about Jin is that you can debate him on a variety of topics he does JJK he does Naruto and he does um he does things like bleach too so you can debate him on that then another person is if you want to actually be able to adapt to Spurg rhetoric, you can actually debate Dead Boy. Now, Dead Boy obviously he's like a yelling merchant. So once you get past the yelling, then you actually see that oh yeah, well this is how I actually take advantage of people who are Spurgy. But beating Dead Boy because the, the fact that Dead Boy is constantly yelling, usually people will be like inclined to actually yell back, right? And that's the one thing you don't want to do with Dead Boy because for some odd reason, Dead Boy is like been blessed with the heavenly restriction of even though he has no substance, he makes up for it with a loud mic, right? And even though he has no sets, somehow he still has a loud mic. So he like Dead Boy has his own little heavenly restriction. Once you get past him, then you might want to um you might want to continue on with your debater journey. So after you fully mastered and gotten down, um, JJK. Now what you're going to look for is you're going to look for feats. So if you want to get a feat, the first people you need to debate is Forks. Now Forks beat Bridge on JJK and he did it quite easily. So if you want a feat, the best person you're going to look for is Forks because by beating Forks on JJK, then you've already established yourself to be better than Bridge. I'd say if you want to get a feat, your first feat you want to get, if it's in JJK at least, same with Forks. You can only get a feat of him if it's JJK or IRL. But this is for all of the people who are starting off with Inverse. So again, for Inverse JJK, you're going to want to start off with Forks. Then, if Bridge was still in the community, you can start off with him or even Archie. Archie does JJK now. Archie isn't particularly a feat, but he's better than a good percentage of people in the community. And people have him or uh, hold him to a very high regard in this community for some odd reason. So, you can use Archie as well. And then, um, I'd say Infinity, but not only is he off the app almost a good percentage of the time, but also he just is like a Forks rival. So, you might want to debate him too. But in the case of Infinity, there, if you want to debate him, you also need to actually learn how to adapt to dishonesty. Now, debating D1 is going to help you adapt to dishonesty because D1 is quite dishonest himself. But also, even when he isn't being dishonest, he has good, um, he actually has decent, and I say decent very heavily here, decent argumentation. So, again, by debating these entry level debaters, you will, will actually adapt. Now, the first thing you want to do. Or you want to avoid, I should say, whenever you want to make a name for yourself as in communities. One, you want to avoid continually debating a certain set of people. So, for example, if you debate a lot of people and you realize this one person is giving me a little bit of trouble, instead of continually debating me over and over again, which would then establish you as having some form of rivalry with the guy and people automatically assume you guys are relative. Instead of doing that, how about you just go out, you debate new people, you learn and you improve, right? If, for example, if you are struggling with argumentation, you improve that. If you're struggling with rhetoric, you improve that then you come back and debate him and then if you win and it's actually a really good win right then of course people will have this like false perception dispelled right now 
Again, if you lose, then you can always take a little bit of time off and try again. Eventually, whenever you're debating, you're always going to hit a roadblock. There's always going to be this certain person who you can't be at the time, no matter what you do, no matter how often you like them, take a break, until you change one fundamental part of your debating style. So for me, it used to be Astro. Now, Astro used to beat my head in all of the time whenever we debated. And now I'd say he doesn't really like trouble me that much whenever we're debating. He doesn't really take that much effort to actually be. But you're yeah, obviously going to run into this certain types of people i recommend not debating them over and over again instead what i recommend you to do obviously because if you beat them if you lose like a billion times or you win once then it isn't going to be a fee but what i recommend you to do actually is just debating new people debate people who he admits is better than himself and once you keep debating them you'll actually be able to establish okay if i'm able to compete with these people right then i should also be able to compete with them um, with the worst person that I struggled with before. And now, there's a few things that you're going to need to avoid. Again, aside from debating the same roadblock over and over again, what you're also going to avoid is actually, one, debating people and getting too overinflated in your ego. So, usually whenever debaters are actually getting to beef, which is almost 100% likely to do, whenever you get into beef, you're usually going to want to be like, um, you're going to have this certain drive to, if somebody calls you out and says you're bad, then you're going to want to debate them on any single topic, any random topic now usually if you're an entry-level debater you aren't actually going to be good enough to do any of that and if you lose on a random topic then you're going to have yourself cemented as their victim for like a good week a good month a good year um so you're going to avoid getting over inflated in your ego. You're going to avoid uh, actually being over committing into the best for one. Two, you're also going to want to avoid if somebody asks you to become their student, don't do it. Don't agree to become anyone's student because not only if you get any fee, then you, they are going to just use it to upskill themselves. E.g., for example, you'll see Infinity going around hyping up Flames and saying, "Oh yeah, you lost to my students. You lost to my students. Your student being Flames, of course, right? Now Flames has this continuous reputation of just being Infinity's little seed, right?" And that's something that he can never escape from. So because of that, you shouldn't actually be somebody's student. Also, Flames is also a good alternative if you don't want to deal with spurgy type debaters. You can debate Flames. Flames doesn't really know a lot about what he's talking about. I don't think he even knows much at all. So it should be very easy to win. And if you don't, at least then you have like a little roadblock for you that you can easily surpass. And um, you also want to not debate people if you don't have enough knowledge. Again, it's like part of the overinflated ego thing. For example, in Naruto, if you debate Naruto, you're going to want to actually have every single nook and cranny down whenever you want to debate it, right? And um, that concludes the inverse section, right? You, of course, you wouldn't want to debate... Um, you won't want to debate all of these complicated people. For crossverse, really, there's no good crossverse debater. So who really cares? Also, there's like nobody really even, even debates that thing still. But yeah, to move on with, with IRL. So first, what you want to do, these are like the more simpler aspects of like philosophy that you can debate. So you can debate abortion. You can debate death penalty. You can debate like... um. Now, I wouldn't say philosophy of the mind because loads of people do try and debate it, yet they fall into this similar archetype where they all use the same arguments because none of them actually want to research the topic that they're talking about. Instead, what I recommend you to do is read up on applied ethics, right, and then get as good as on applied ethics as possible. There are a few people who I'd recommend you to debate, and it has like not like the fiction community, I should say that. I don't know why I started there so bad, but not like the fiction community. You're almost guaranteed not to win against any of them. So first one you have is Mason, then you have is like Cynthia, then you have Goons and Eric. Now debating them, it's kind of a um, muscle cord because they aren't as toxic usually as the fiction community. They aren't going to continually insult you whenever they're like um, muscle cord, whenever they're debating you. They're more so substance focused than any other thing. But what's it called? Because they are like more substance focused, then you actually be able to learn things by talking to them. And because you're learning things by talking to them, then you can notice that you improve massively by actually debating them. You want to read a lot if you want to actually get into it. So if you, there are certain websites that you can go to. So you can go to um, PDF Hub, right? You can go to like um, Z Library, all of those. Just search up books about ethics and then there should be some entry level books that you can actually get into and read and they break it down really really simply also you can start off with meta ethics which is what i'm actually doing right now now i'm going to link a playlist at the bottom from kane b he actually explains loads of meta ethical topics and gives argument for and against if you want to improve kind of rapidly the thing you want to do mainly is not only debate smart people consistently i always try and debate people who are a little bit over your level so not people who are actually so good that you won't improve and you won't understand anything that they're talking about but also people who are just good enough to the level where you know 
there's no point and you won't be wasting your time by debating them and by debating these type of people then you'll notice that you're like improving substantively and you're improving constantly and people will actually notice it now when it comes to cadence what you want to do is really you need to pace yourself a little bit now certain people they work with different types of like speech patterns so against archie for example I'll, you'll notice me debating a lot slower and the reason why is because i'm trying to like actually show the audience how he can hold me substantively however against like other people i'm trying to be like be more assertive you notice me speaking a lot faster or in fact i may be speaking a lot slower and just be like raising my voice to actually show the person that they actually aren't understanding so you need to actually learn how you're going to adapt yourself rhetorically to match up with the opponents that you're debating and that's actually a skill that you need to learn really quickly also for meta ethics you want to watch some videos and also watch some debates as well because not only in debates will you learn from practical experience you'll see how other people handle certain arguments so for example you can if you want to get into uh more realism versus more anti-realism you might want to watch eric sanderson versus lance bush you might want to watch uh other certain other debates just such a meta ethics debate so you should be you should be fine right and then by doing so, you will not only learn through practical experience, you learn how other people learn. So these other people didn't get the opportunity to review the debate afterwards, right? Or I mean, maybe they did, who knows? But you get the, opp the opportunity to actually listen to the debate and learn and improve yourself from it. And doing that actually improves you heavily you also if you want to start debating philosophy the entry level person you want to debate is monkey boy then you also might want to debate turns but turns is actually a bit knowledgeable so you might not be able to beat him for a while right and turns monkey boy who else is there there are loads of confused people in the politics server. so if you want to actually get good really quickly what you want to do because no fiction people are there no many known people in the philosophy community you usually want to go into the politics server and try and vc actively then going to just random rooms and because obviously you're not going to make any friends there or just ask them oh hey what are your views on x y topic that you've studied and then actually talk to them about it don't treat it as if it's a debate just talk to them about it hearing other people's perspective on stuff actually helps you improve really really quickly and then um another thing you'd want to do mainly is just try and review back on all of your debates that you do try and review it make a mental note on what you should have improved make a mental note on something you let slip by that you didn't actually you shouldn't have let slip by you know all of those little mistakes by improving on them you'll notice that you improve massively for example whenever i used to debate i always used to say right 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 and improving that and stop like no longer doing that actually helped me and helped my cadence and helped my like rhetoric and my ability to present myself very clearly um and yeah that's basically it aside from that if you want to be known as a good debater because obviously being a good debater being known as a good debater there are two different things you need to do you can go through the route of like honor you can go through the route of just like you know glazing so what you can do and this is the route i recommend is when you actually get good right and then two at least you need somebody else it can be one or two people who actually are as good as you because surrounding yourself with people way worse than you will make people associate yourself with them so for example <clears throat> you can use uh let's say uh, let's say sakazuki for an example let's say sakazuki hangs out with um with flames and haram spongebob all day right if he hangs out with them all day every day right then people are going to associate them with each other so what you need to do is actually you need a group of friends who not only know as much as you but are also close to you in skill you want to continually debate them right and then once you realize that okay these people are actually my intellectual equals you both and you three or four try to improve yourself to a certain level together so there's no sort of like a exclusion but if once both of you have reached a certain level then people begin to know you and actually like um no okay yeah this guy rolls deep he knows like loads of smart people da 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 and the fact that like what's it called you, you also by proxy you get other people to actually vouch for your competence because of course if you're in so even if you're competent if nobody else vouches for you then of course nobody's going to consider you that way but because you have friends of course people are going to vouch for you the other way you can do is just debate people in private servers don't let them have the recording and then just ask them if you're really good if they say yes just ask them to tell your um, their friends that you're really good right and once they do you just keep repeating it over and over again and then people consider you to, to be tier one and then if anyone asks for any of your recordings take extreme offense don't actually send them any and uh make sure that you just um you know make sure to just not engage but yeah that's my beginner's guide to how to get good at debating if you like these type of videos please remember to like and subscribe this is Bishinra and I'm out